Tim's Ford Lake in Winchester, and the uh, personal watercraft races are just now getting underway, and we're going to bring them, bring, bring it all home to you right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network, right out here at beautiful Tim's Ford Lake in Winchester, Tennessee. So let's come on down. We've got Brian mostly on camera, and uh, we're going to go on down here and see what's going on. <laughs> all right, folks. We've got to talking to one of our, uh, the uh, personal watercraft uh, racers. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Darcy Cohen. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. From Atlanta. Now, how'd you hear about this thing? Well, actually, I raced the Chattanooga Series, and this is put on by the same promoters. Well, uh, have you already raced yet? Yes, I have. How'd you come out? I think I came out second in the expert stand-up class. All right. Now, 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 which one of these uh, vehicles is yours? Um, You're running in a Yamaha... Number 132. N Yamaha what? Super Jet. All right. And how fast do you run this thing? It goes approximately 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. And you finish second out here. Now, how long is this course? Do you know? How long is it in time or in length? Well, yeah, whatever whatever knowledge you have of it. I think it's approximately just over a minute a lap when we run six laps. All right. Well, congratulations. Uh, and are you going to race any more today? Uh, three more times. I'm in two classes. All right, folks. Number 132 on the on the Yamaha. We'll be looking for you. Thank you. Appreciate you coming down. Uh, sure. All right. We're talking to Buddy Brett, another racer down here at the lake today. Uh, where are you from, Buddy? Uh, right outside of Macon, Georgia. My, another Georgian here. Yeah. Man, uh, a lot of people from Georgia up here today. Yeah, there are a lot of them from up north Georgia. Above Atlanta. Mm -hmm. How do you like this lake over here? Oh, it's a great lake. Great lake. Yeah, we race a lot up in Chickamauga and Chattanooga. But it's a good water. All right, have you already raced some today? Yeah, I had one race just a few minutes ago. How'd you do? Yes, second. Another second place winner. And you're going to be racing some more? Yeah, we have another moto later in the day. All right, now we're watching one get started right now. What Do you have any idea what division this is or anything? That's a sport run about 785. 785. Now, what do they got to do? Go around one time? Yeah, that's that's the start, back to the start and finish, and then I think it's about five laps. Five laps they've got to run here. Five laps, yes. All right. Uh, uh, and how, uh, this is the first time you've come to, to uh, the lake up yes. here in Winchester, Thames Ford Lake? Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. I think it's the first race I had up here. So, well, these guys will do anything they can to uh, lay, lay on top of them or whatever to get them going faster. Yes, sir. You just about got to do that. Stay down and keep your center of gravity real low. <laughs> All right. And uh, they've got a, like a zigzag course on, on uh, part of the run too, don't they? Yeah, that's correct. It's similar to motorcycle uh, racing course, motocross, but uh -huh. it's on water, yeah. So it's not just uh, going around and around in a circle. They've got to actually go go around. Now, is this the same pattern every lap? That's correct, yes. Uh -huh. And it's very, very rough. It doesn't look rough when standing on land, but it's it's very choppy. Uh, I noticed that. So, we'll, folks, uh, we got Brian mostly zeroing in on the thing. We're, I guess this looks like the second lap they're finishing up on. Getting ready to go into lap number three. Only got three more to go, it looks like. That's, I believe that's correct. Uh -huh. All right. And uh, we'll see who wins this thing, folks. Just Brian, Brian, if you'll just keep panning the camera around there, let's see what happens. Now, let me ask you something else. Has there been many spills out here? No, not yet, but the uh, real fast runabout boys haven't taken the water yet. Mm -hmm. They'll get up to uh, 62, 63 miles an hour on the front straightaway. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is the first year we've had this down here in uh, on Thames Ford Lake. I believe so, yes. This is a uh, every summer affair down here in Georgia? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we come up. It's a series, point series racing in Chattanooga. And I come up and try to make all those races. We've got a big race in Macon, Georgia next weekend. What lake you you race on down there? It'll be Lake Tobasaski. Tobasaski, well, the old Indian name. Uh huh. And uh, how big is that? That big, pretty good sized lake down there? Oh yes, it's not nothing it, like these large lakes here. It's a small county impoundment. Uh huh. But, but they have the area they race in is, you know, about this size here. What you see. Uh huh. Uh, of course, the Tennessee Valley Authority and the Corps of Engineers is responsible for many of the lakes here in Tennessee and northern Alabama. How do they compare with uh, the lakes that you've been on down here in Georgia? They, like you say, they're, they, these are much bigger, or is there bigger lakes down there? No, I think they average about the same. You know, it's going to the water flow. I'm sure that Chickamauga is, is, is extra large because of the Tennessee River. But uh, if you look on a map, you know, if they're halfway accurate, they uh, compare. They compare. All right. Well, have we got a winner here. They got one more lap to go. I believe one more lap. I didn't see the. Uh, if it was a white flag, it had one more lap to go. Yes. Uh huh. All right, folks. So we'll just keep an eye and see who wins this thing. We'll uh, talk to the 
winner of this, and how many races are they scheduled here today? It's probably about 18 in the first uh, half, and then come back and run 18 more. Okay. All right, Brian, zero in. I believe we're going to have a winner coming up. I think this is the last lap, and I may be wrong. It might be one more, but... Uh, it looks like it's going to be one more lap. One more lap. One more lap to go. That's correct. You know some of these people out here racing this one? No, sir. I don't know anyone out there. Uh, all right. Well, we'll keep an eye on them. We'll uh, uh, follow this race and see who wins it. Looks like uh, the guy out there in the lead right now. Looks like he's well ahead. Six on the line. Six on the line. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you talking with us. All right, folks. and to the and this is the novice run runabout, as you just heard from the announcer. Third goes. Uh, Vic. Now, who won that first place there? Uh, Jeff Biddle from Nashville, Tennessee. All right. And this, what's the name of this race again? The novice. That race we just ran was Expert Sports 785 Limited. Okay, what's the next one coming up? We've got a heat race coming up with a novice runabout 785 Limited, which are runabout boats. All right, all right. They got a lot of contestants. I noticed they range all the way Louisville, uh, LaGrange, Kentucky, looks like Nashville, Marietta, Cedar Bruff, Alabama, Pell City, Alabama, two from McMinnville, none from Chattanooga. I don't see any local people in that thing at all, hardly. Yeah, a lot of people coming around here from uh, all areas. Yes, we get them all over the country. All right, I don't want to interrupt your announcing. If uh, We would like to get your name. Charlie Hatler. Where are you from, Charlie? Uh, Chattanooga. I'm the official race promoter with Hat Dog Race Promotions. All right, and uh, well, say hello to the cable viewers. Is this the first time you've been up here? Yes, we hope to come back, and we hope our crowd gets better every year. All right, will you be back up here this year at all? Uh, no, we won't be back this year, but we're probably going to try and do something again next year. Now, you're next for people that are maybe interested in coming out and seeing these races. Where are you going to be next? We're going to be in Saudi Daisy, Tennessee, which is north of Chattanooga on June 8th. We'll have a race there. Saudi Daisy, of course, that's on uh, Ch which lake? Chickamauga, Lake Chickamauga is north of Chattanooga. Okay, folks, if you'd like to get out and see it live, there you are. You can go on out there to Saudi Daisy the 8th of June, and you can see it live. We're going to bring it all home to you, getting ready to start this uh, next event right now. We got a little novice runabout, 785 Limited. And they've shut them down. Somebody asked for a two minute hold, couldn't get her boat started. All right. Two minute hold on this one, folks. So we're going to talk to some more people, a lot of people from uh, other areas of the, of the country here, from Kentucky, Alabama, Georgia. They've all come up here to Winchester, Tennessee to, to try their luck here at the uh, personal watercraft races. And uh, we're going to bring it, like I said, bring it all home to you. We're getting ready to go again. Uh, Mr. Brian, if you want to get around there, they're, they've got their engines revved up, getting ready to start off. And uh, we're going to let the... Uh... And there they go with the whole shot is number 13, T.J. Haynes from LaGrange, Kentucky, sponsored by Rosier. And he flat left them sitting still. He's got a 10 boat lead in the first turn. Second place is going to number 968 or 988, Mike Loden from Dowtown, Tennessee. Looks like we might have a race for third. No, he spins out and no, we almost had a collision, but traffic cleared before he came in. So far today, we haven't had any spills. Nobody's been hurt yet. Okay. Knock on wood. <laughs> a lot of activity out here, folks. We've got TJ Haynes from LaGrange, Kentucky. Second place, 288, Michael Loden. Third place is 808, Anthony Graham from Nashville, Tennessee. How many laps are they going this time? They're in six laps. Six laps. Six laps on this one, folks. 
And uh, like I said, we just had a, a near collision. We haven't had any spills out here thus far, but we're gonna, we'll be out here for the whole race, all the races here on beautiful Thames Ford Lake out here, Memorial Weekend. Great weekend to be out here. It's a beautiful day. Everybody, come on out and see the action out here. That's right. And of course, uh, we're bringing it all home to you right here. Uh, we, we may become the, 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 the Tennessee ESPN channel or something before it's over with. We don't know. Uh, Brian Mosley out there on the camera, right up there to the, on the edge of the lake. If he got any closer, he'd be waiting, folks. So we're, we're getting as close to this thing as we can, and we're bringing it all home to you. These people are trying their skills. All right, the lead. We've got T.J. Haynes. Rosier sponsored Sea Second place. Still Mike Loden. We've got a race on the back straight for fourth place. They're tight. They've got a couple more laps to go. Can he pass him in the straight? Hold it on to fourth is Schumann and trying to make the move is Leach. He dives on the inside, can't do it. Dives in again, can't do it. They're into the top slalom section and just Schumann is holding him off. Coming around the back sweeper leech spins out lost his pop seized our leader is still holding down a comfortable lead has passed a slower boat and now the second place is making a move around the lap traffic and here comes your winner for the checkered flag, T.J. Haynes from LaGrange, Kentucky. Rosier, sponsored boat. All right, we're getting ready for another race. Goes in to 988, Mike Loden and left rider comes across and here comes our third place. Is number 808, Anthony Graham. There's your top three on the line. We need heat number two for novice runabout 785 limited race 5B. Heat number two. On the line, we've got John Neyman, Mickey Clark, Fred Rutledge, Bud Sharp, John Shields, Bo Coppinger. Getting ready for another race already, folks. So just one race right after another. One race right after another. We're going to bring it all home to you right here on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. We're going to get to try to get down here and talk some of these some of these uh, winners here in just a moment. Hey, Brian. All right, wait a minute. All right, uh, what's your name? John Leach. John, where are you from? I'm from Maryville, Tennessee. Maryville there, right below Knoxville. Nice place to live. Yes, it is. I, I love it there. How long have you been in this racing business? Uh, it's my second year. Second year. Yeah. All right, Brian, turn right around the back here and get started that race. We're getting ready to start while I'm talking to him. Uh, this is your second year. Now, they have these things up there in, uh, what, I guess on Loudon Lake or some of the lakes up there? Uh, no, most of them are down in Chattanooga. Uh, they don't have any up there right now. We're trying to get them up there, but we have six or seven races down this way. Uh -huh. All right, this is the first time you've been down here to, to him, Tim's Ford Lake. First time I've been here, yep. How do you like it? So far, so good, yeah. It looks real good. Yeah. Yeah, this, of course, this lake covers two counties here in Tennessee, backs right up into the town of Winchester. Uh, been here since, I guess, the early uh, 70s. And uh, you race mostly on Chickamauga? Uh, yes, that's where we race most of them in Chattanooga, but we go to Georgia and Florida and went to 12 races last year. This is a real nice lake, though. It seems like we'll have a good time out here today. And what's the high speeds that, that, that uh, attained on these things? you have any idea? Somewhere in the 60s or 70s? Yeah, the low 60s. 60 miles an hour, 61 for most of these. The pros race around 63. Uh -huh. Have you won very many? 
I uh, won a couple last year. I've come in third and fourth a few times. Uh, doing well for me. Just a novice. And what do you what, what uh, do you work up in the uh, Maribel? What do you do? Uh, I work at BTR. I'm a section manager there for production. Well, this is a great stress relief to get out here on that wave runner. Yes, it sure is. That's why I'm out here. And, and speaking of, uh, I, I call them wave runner like everybody calls a, a soda a Coke, but I know uh, these are made by Sea Dew and, and uh, Suzuki and other people, Polaris. What do you race? I have a Sea Dew. Uh, uh -huh. Sitting back here, the 312. There's hardly any wave runners out here. There are a few wave raiders out here. Uh -huh. But Sea Dew is what the, the most people race. Uh -huh. Of course, Tri Lake Marine uh, is the local dealer for Sea Dew. I know they sell a heck of a lot of them. Uh, it's right here. Well, it's a great race. I uh, enjoy talking with you. Hope we hope you come back and see us. I enjoyed it too. Thanks. All right, folks, got the race underway. A lot of lot of things going on out here on the lake today. We're going to have uh, uh, in a in a few minutes. We're going to be covering uh, what will be tomorrow's big drag boat races, and the big drag boat races. Uh, We'll be coming up here in a little while after we cover this one for you on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. A lot of things coming up here this summer on our cable show, and we appreciate all of our sponsors that have brought it all home to you, and we're going to try to get out here with our camera and cover as many of these events as possible. We've got several events going on at the same time. We're trying to get more cameras, more personnel to go out and try to catch as much of this activity as possible and preserve it for posterity for you. Again, the first annual personal watercraft race is right here on Thames Ford Lake. As you can see, a lot of people have come come to uh, Thames Ford Lake in Tennessee from Georgia, Alabama, up in East Tennessee and Kentucky, all over. And uh, these have been going on in these other areas for several years. It's the first time that it's been held here in uh, Winchester on Thames Ford Lake. And they, I guess they're going to start doing it every year from now on. Looks like a great sporting event that we've uh, missed out on up until now. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Charlie Bondurin and the people out there at Tri Lake Marines for sponsoring this fine event. Exciting, exciting. We're down here, if we were any closer, we'd get splashed. Our camera would be splashed by the uh, racers going by. And I understand Brian mostly can't swim, so we're, we're getting as close to it as we can, folks. Right out here on Thames Ford Lake, a real hot day up in the uh, I guess it's close to the upper uh, uh, mid-90s, low mid-90s out here today. Great day, not a cloud in the sky. I understand there's some parts of the country that need rain, but we, it looks like we're having a great memorial weekend out here on Thames Ford Lake. A lot of activities. All right, let's get this this racer just came in. Let's talk to him a minute. See what he had to say, thought about it. He had a little problem with his with his uh, intake or something. Who knows? You know, these these people race these things to the to the max. All right, we're gonna we're gonna talk to some of these racers. Can we can we talk to you a minute here? You just you just ran on the ran this race. How'd you do? Uh, second place. Second place. All right. Uh, how was it? Uh, it's fun. <laughs> a lot of, where are you from? What's your name? Chattanooga, Tennessee. Bo Coppinger. All right. Is this your first time up here on the lake? No, my mom lives up here. Is that right? Now, uh, what kind of sea do have you got here? Uh, sea do XP800. All right. And how fast are you going on that thing? Uh, probably 59 to 60 miles an hour. 59 to 60 miles an hour. My goodness. How, how do you like that course out here? Uh, it's a good course. Where have you raced before? Uh, all over, really. Uh, it's. I know they have a lot of these in Chattanooga area, Chickamauga, uh, right? Six of them. Six of them. Six a year. Yeah, six a year. We, we go to Florida a lot racing. Uh -huh. The lakes down here in Florida? Uh, no, the ocean. Right. Well, where in the where on the ocean do you race? Uh, Pensacola, uh, Fort Walton, Fort Myers. How do these sea dudes do in salt water? They pretty good. 
Yeah, they handle real good. They're best. They're the best of them. <laughs> so I guess the, the the waves are a lot worse there than they are here, right? Yeah, it's uh, big waves. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to Winchester, Tennessee, and Tim's Ford Lake. Nice to talk with you. Thanks. All right, folks, we got people just drove up out here. Where are you from, sir? I'm actually from a decade about station down at Fort Benning, Georgia. All right. And, uh, you drove all the way up here on your go wing? Well, no, actually, I came up here and picked it up. I'm going to take it back. <laughs> You're going to ride back? I'm riding back with it, yeah, Monday. Uh-huh. And, and what's your name? Where are you from? Jamie Scott, and I'm from uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. Fort Benning. And you're going to drive her back, huh? Yeah, uh, we'll back. try. Did y'all come up here and buy this at Pioneer? Or did um, you, you buy it up here? Or? I bought it up here. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I've been here about two weeks. I've been back and forth coming up here to to ride it and take, take it back, but I just don't want to take it back this week. Be a nice hot ride back here. I understand there hadn't been much rain here lately. When I left Georgia, it was about 100. Uh, well, they had thunderstorms yesterday, but the uh, last couple of days been pretty hot. Pretty hot. Of course, coming from Germany, this is hot. Really? <laughs> it's hot. Already hot over in Europe, huh? It sure is. Well, it's. Well, I talked to a friend of mine last week, and he said it was kind of cool. And it was about in the 90s down in uh, Georgia. And what's your division down there? I'm nine, uh, 988th MP Company. We're doing security for the Olympics in Georgia. Oh, okay. So you got a you got a busy summer ahead of you. Busy summer, sure do. I imagine a lot of traffic picking up down there already. It's starting to get busy. I think it's going to get very busy. Well, we, uh, when you go back, I want you to tell them all about the Moon Pie Games we have over here in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. They have it a week before the Olympics, and they got all kinds of uh, uh, thing activities going on. Their boxing, their boxing activities is how many moon pies you can get in a box. You know that kind of thing. You can go up there and get married for a half hour. That's in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Yeah, they're having the big moon pie games. And that's a week before the Olympics down there in Atlanta. I didn't know whether you'd heard about it. You know. We'll have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> up there. We just got through doing a uh, run uh, for the Special Olympics. Uh, all the law enforcement throughout Georgia. They ran from uh, started at Fort Benning and ran to uh, the at Columbus and uh, they took the torch from there and ran into Atlanta through the relays. For the Special Olympics. All right. Well, that's great. We're glad to have you up here in uh, Tennessee, especially at Winchester today at the the uh, big personal watercraft races. Have you ever been to a personal watercraft race before? No, I haven't. Never have. Well, it's something to see. They they're really getting out here putting on a show. Looks like a lot of fun. All right. We got the big the big drag boat races are tomorrow. You know about that, don't you? Yeah. They got the great big drag boat races tomorrow about noon Sunday. Right here. Right here on the lake. And then that's not all. We got all kinds of fishing tournaments, and then they got the big high on the hog coming up the third weekend in June. That'll be the uh, June 22nd. I'm gonna have to move back home. You need to come on up here. They got they're gonna have helicopter rides out here and uh, all kinds of cookers from all over the country. This this changed a lot around here from the time I left and went the military and came back. It's uh, uh, a lot more activities here than they used to be. Yeah. Well, if you're thinking about settling down, you need to get you a, buy you a lake lot out here before it gets too <laughs> too much higher. It's going out of sight. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for coming up. Appreciate talking with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We wrote, folks, we're talking to some people. Where are, you, where are you from? What's your name? Gainesville, Georgia. Pam Alford. All the way from Gainesville, Georgia. And this is the first time you come up here to Tim's Ford? Yes. You got relatives up here? This is my nephew. He's the driver. Your nephew, the driver, and, and what? look at the camera over here. What's your name? Chad Hudgens. Now Chad, where are you from? Monroe, Georgia. Monroe, Georgia. How long you been in this business? Um, About two or three months. Two or three months. You like it? Yeah, it's awesome, man. Have you won anything out here today? I got third so far. Third place. Well, congratulations. Let's talk to some of these other people. Where you? Uh, what's your name? Tommy Hudgens, Monroe, Georgia. Monroe, another Monroe, Georgia person. You like it up here? I like it. I'm the owner. He's the driver. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the machine is sponsored by American General Insurance Company. All right. Fine folks. Fine folks. And, and your name, where are you from? I'm Yvonne Chapel, Gainesville, Georgia. Gainesville, Georgia. You like it up here? Love it. It's gorgeous. Is it getting hot up down there? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Definitely. Oh, all right. I think a lot of people up here are heading down your way about now. Probably so. Keep all right. Well, we're glad to have you up here today. Thank you. What's your name, sir? I'm Thomas Hedgens. I'm the grandfather of the crowd. This is three generations of us, eh? Are you, are you from Georgia, too? Monroe, Georgia. Monroe? Now, where's Monroe? Uh, about 20 miles this side of Athens. You know Athens? Okay, it's about 20 miles this side of Athens, Georgia. Halfway, it's between Atlanta and Athens, Monroe is. Good old Walton County, uh -huh. number one in the state. 
A lot of watermelons down that way. You got that right. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you up here. Is it? Is, I guess it's hot down down there too. Isn't it? Oh yes, but we love it. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Well, get your feet wet and cool off here today. Already have. All right. What's your name? Lois Hedges, an underground mother. All right. Monroe, Georgia. All right. We're glad to have you here. What's your name? Manny Chapel. Where are you from? Um, Gainesville. 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 Georgia. Gainesville, Georgia. We're glad to have you here today. And this is your sister. I'm a friend. A friend, and where are you from? Gainesville, Georgia. I'm his cousin. All right, all right. And I'm the mom. All right, mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad to have you up here today. Your name? My name's Kim Hudgens. All right, Kim. Glad to have you up here in Tennessee today. Thank you. Uh, Marion. Marion. Your name's Marion? Mm hmm. Where are you from, Marion? Alaska. Whereabouts up in Alaska are you from? Vermont. Vermont, Alaska. Now, where is that near? Uh, uh, give us a Padukie. big city. Padukie. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, the only ones I know about is, is Anchorage and Juneau. And, That's and both the of them, yeah. Yugoslavia. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're putting us on. Right? Well, I know. <laughs> We're glad to have you down here today. Okay, thank you, thank you. Who's your friend over here? Where are they from? I don't have no friends. You don't have any friends? <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm just here. You're just here. All right, thank you. Okay. You got anything to say, anything else to tell the cable viewers out there, about 30,000 cable viewers? I don't want to be on TV. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, now we got a Nashvilleian here. What's your name? Michelle Hillis. All right, up from Nashville. Is this the first time you've been down here to Tim's Forward? It is. It is. We came out to race, but the boat blew up and just got out of the shop last night, so we're very disappointed. Oh, no. So I've okay. had that happen, too. Yeah. I live on the lake, and ain't nothing like having a bunch of people over to go out on the lake, and the motor's bad. Yeah, that's big, especially when you just spent tons of money and entry fee and can't do anything about it. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're, uh, we need to talk to the driver. No, we need to talk to the mechanic. Talk to the mechanic. And the owner of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> and we will. No. Maybe, we get Maybe you need to call Turco up there at Channel 2. Maybe he'll help Yeah, definitely. You. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, we'd like for you to come back down. Uh, they got plenty of lake here to do some swimming. And we've we, we got, we got a lot of food out here, a lot of things going on. we got the big drag races over here tomorrow. Tell all your friends to come on down now. Okay. We've got a lot more activities. Okay. Big high on the hog now, third weekend in uh, June. We've got cookers from all over the country. Great. Yeah, okay. big big activities. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you for coming. All right, folks. We're, we're talking to a Pell City, Alabama native. What's your name? Fred Rutledge. All right, glad to have you up here today. This is your first race? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Swing on around there, Brian, and get that get that uh, start off. They're getting ready to start this uh, race while we're talking. This is the jet ski competition, isn't it? Yeah, this is where it all is won, really, right here off the line. It, uh, uh, have you raced yet today? Yes, sir. I've done had one one. Yeah. You do any good? I finished third. Finished third. Okay. What type of what type of personal watercraft you have? About 785. That's a Sea Dew. Yes, sir. Sure. Now, what lake are you racing down there in Pell uh, City? Well, I live on Logan Martin. Uh, they're on the Coosa River. And uh, just come up here today to get a feel for this, see how it is. Pretty fun so far. Uh -huh. Had a good time. You like this lake? Yeah, it's, it's rough out there, but yeah, it seems to be a good lake. I hadn't been much past those trees, but yeah, it's a nice place. It is. Uh -huh. Nice place. All right. They let the water down on that lake down there in the winter, don't they? They do, five feet. You let it down five yeah. feet. And then it comes back up about. I think May, sometime in May, early May, uh -huh. and uh, good time to work on your piers and all. Yeah. I mean, now, are you going to follow the circuit on this thing? You're going to some of these other places yeah, and race? Like all these Chattanooga races up here. This uh, Tri Lakes Marine was my first one, and then uh, the Chattanooga uh, Summer Six Series. I'm going to try to follow all those. Yeah, sure am. Uh -huh. I believe June 8th is the next one up here. Well, it seems like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. You ought to try it. Uh -huh. Give it a shot. Well, yeah, we'd love to get the. We'd love to go out there and shoot a. I'm afraid I get my camera wet. We'd love to take a camera out on it, but I don't dare do it. And last time I tried it, I, I was out in the Gulf of Mexico and drowned in one. And uh, <laughs> yeah, well, out here it'd be good if you had your pontoon. You could sit out in the middle and probably do a lot of film. Well, we've got a pontoon. We're, we've got uh, just had the interior redone, getting ready to redo, uh, fix the electrical wiring. We hope to get back out here this afternoon on the lake. Real nice day, not a cloud in the sky. Hot all over, isn't it? Yes, it is. And people down in Texas are hurting for rain. Bad. About as bad as we are down there. Uh -huh. It looked like it rained here last night. 
so yeah. we haven't got anything. It tried. It. I think most of it got into Alabama, but a lot of we had a lot of lightning in the in the background. These people are out here really getting it. How fast are these things going? You have any idea? They're probably going 35 right now. Coming down through here, be about their top speed, I would imagine. The water's so rough. Of course, these jet skis. This this was the first generation to, of the personal watercraft, yeah, wasn't it? They're about probably 15 years old. Uh -huh. You know, or when they first come out, they were. Uh, and these are now what they're going to now. The runabout types. A lot more of these out here than they are the uh, the old stand-up type. But, uh, a lot more work staying on those jet skis, isn't it? Yeah, you got a lot, be a lot more skilled. It's easy to sit down and drive. Yeah. I don't know if I can stand up and do it. <laughs> they sell a lot more sit down than they do to stand up, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're exactly right. Uh -huh. uh, well, we're glad you came up today. We hope to see you again. Uh, Maybe you will. Be up here June 8th, hope so. Yeah. All right. Hope everything goes good for y'all. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, and of course you're the wife of the uh, announcer. Yes, I'm your name. Hat dog, Gina Hatler. Gina Hatler, and, and again, tell the cable viewers again where you're from. I'm from Chattanooga, Harrison, Tennessee, actually. Uh -huh. All right, you've been following these races pretty close, huh? Oh yeah, we've been promoting for about five years. We are so this is our second year of sanctioning through the IJSBA, which is the governing body for the sport. Uh -huh. And um, this year we have eight races. Last year six. The year before that was four. And so every year we have more and more. We're about topped out at eight. Yeah. Well, maybe are you coming back up here next year to Tim's Ford? You think? I hope so. I hope we will. It, the, the, these sponsors have been incredibly nice and um, very hospitable. Anything we ask for, um, it seems that the community's behind this. Mm -hmm. Might get you up here for two a, two a year instead of oh, one. Oh, we like it. We like it. It's not a bad drive. We have most of our people. Yeah, it's great. All right. And uh, again, thanks to Charlie Von Duren and, and the folks out at Tri Lake Marine for bringing you up. Yes. Yeah, they're great. They've been just wonderful. We'd really like to thank them for having us. And again, cable viewers, the next race coming up is June 8th, and that's at, over at Chickamauga Lake near Soddy Daisy, right? Soddy Daisy, right off of 27. All right. A lot of things going on this summer, folks. Stay tuned. We'll have more at, on the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Uh, where are you from? Chattanooga, Tennessee. Your name? Uh, Victor Rowe. Now, Victor, you're racing here today, right? Uh, my son's racing here today. Your son's He's, racing? Yeah, Kevin Rowe. Okay. Uh, he's racing the uh, stand-up model uh, jet skis in the uh, mod class and the uh, limited class. Uh -huh. uh, how long you been? Uh, how long you've been following this personal uh, watercraft stuff? Uh, my son's been racing about three years. He yes, he went to the uh, 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 world finals last year, which is the highlight, the yeah. biggest thing in jet ski racing. Y'all going to Saudi Daisy the eighth of June? Uh, yes, sir. We will. Yeah. We hope we can get this thing up here more than once a year on Tim's Ford. This is a, uh, you like this lake up here? Looks, it's a real good lake. Real good uh, place to race. It's a, it's a very picturesque and rustic lake where you've got the mountains in the background and the, and the lush vegetation, rolling hills. Got a good clean lake too. Yeah. We're glad to have you up here. We hope, hope, hope you come back and see us. We've got uh, a lot of other activities. You need to tell everybody down there to come on up here to the High on the Hog, Garrett, about the third weekend in June. Okay. Starts Friday morning and goes through uh, Saturday night, at the 22nd of June. I believe it's 21st and 22nd, or is it 20, 22nd, 23rd? But anyway, 22nd's one of the days. Friday and Saturday, they got cookers from all over the country. Okay, we'll be here. All right, now let me ask you one other question. Uh, have you ever heard of the Tomahawks baseball team? Uh, no. Never have heard of them. Huh? Well, they we've, we've got a, a, a regional baseball team that started here in uh, this part of Middle Tennessee in Franklin County called the Tomahawks, and I guess that's on the same level as the Lookouts there in, in Chattanooga. But we're just kind of seeing if anybody heard of them. <laughs> it's their new team. Oh, okay. They're going to be playing over here in Winchester. Okay. Minor, I guess that's what you call minor league baseball, Brian. Isn't that right? Minor minor baseball teams. Kind that uh, Michael J Jordan played in a while. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. This is, and, and this is what now? This is runabout 785 mod, which is uh, most of these are your experts. And I think they may have, yeah, these are your experts. Number 13 is na ranked nationally number 13. So you can, when you see a low number below 100, that means they are ranked with the IJSBA as that number. They've hey, earned Nationwide. It. Nationwide. Worldwide, actually. Worldwide. Number 13 worldwide. Yeah. He placed, he placed in, within the last year at that number. Uh -huh. 
and uh, so you can kind of expect a lot out of him. You look for you look for those low numbers, and, and look, you can tell that you know he's. He, look at his special things he's got on his boat, his special handlebars, his equipment, the sponsors his boat carries. And, oh, no. We had one that didn't start. Yeah, that was the number 13 yeah, that we was talking yeah. about. See, that's also, uh, you know, a consequence of when you modify a boat heavily is a lot of times it's not too predictable. You uh -huh. know, he died on the line last time. But you can watch for him to make up a lot of ground. This will be a good race if he can just get a hold of it. Now this is one of our, um, this is one who races all the time. This is one of our staff people in second place. Uh -huh. And uh, they're both always neck and neck. It just matters who gets the cleanest start. Uh -huh. and how fast are these boats running? Um, on, on this race course with this tight course in rough water, one after the other, you're probably looking at speeds probably about 50. Uh -huh. But they, the boats will run in excess of 60 just on a line by themselves. Mm. Well, I notice number 13 is catching up with them, looks yes. like. Yeah, he probably will overtake at least the last couple. Uh -huh. uh, somebody else spun out, so now he's already made up one. Mm -hmm. Have there ever, ever been in the, uh, since you've been following this thing, any, any nasty spills in any of these races? Yeah, a few. We've never had anybody who was uh, taken to the hospital. We one of our staffers who fell off and got hit and he had to go just to be looked at, but he didn't have to stay. He had no real injuries other than a little bruising. But um, it, it's always more dangerous with the novice, the ones who've never raced before, because they tend to spin out more and not to know how to react in that situation. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and I notice this, this race, you've got, what, two or three S, I, I guess you call them S curves? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, the tight turns. We try to keep the speed down. It just depends on the crowd we're expecting and the sight as to how you can lay it out. You'll notice that there's a long sweeping curve to get everybody broken up before they have a tight turn. Uh -huh. And that, that keeps people from everybody being bunched up and having to make a big 180. And we know that by the time they get around here, they are broken out. And so that, that tight turn doesn't affect, you don't have any big crashes there. We try to make it as safe as we can. Now, is this a, a pretty standard course or uh, when you have it out there, it, it Chickamauga at Saudi Daisy, will they have a bigger course or is it about the same this, as this This one? is pretty standard. This is an excellent site. All right, and uh, we've got, what, uh, four people still in the running on this one? Yeah, yeah. And it looks like they'll finish. All right, and then we're coming up here, what, on the, how many laps does this one run? Five. Five laps, so. And this is race number 10 of 13, and then they'll have a last chance qualifier, and then they'll run them, they'll take a break and run them all again. And these, again, these, uh, 13's coming on, he's, yeah. he's catching up. Yeah, he is. I, I don't think he's got enough time to do it. Right. There's one, they're a lap and a half to go. Uh, now, they, they take these stock units and, and soup them up, you think? Mm -hmm. they, they use bolt-on modifications. A lot of them do um, engine modifications, uh -huh. like they bore it and poured it and do all these other things I don't even know how to tell you about. Do they use any other special fuel than regular gas? Yes, they do. They use a, a racing fuel. Racing Most fuel. Most of them do, yeah. All right, there's a the white flag, folks. We've got one more lap to go. Who's in the lead here? Can you can you tell? Uh, Scott Gowan. It looks like Scott Gowan, 777 out of Huntsville, Alabama. 777's in the lead, Brian. If you'll swing on around, this is the last lap. They're going to get the checkered flag here in a minute. And they, uh, in the lead right coming up, there, that's him right over yeah. here, right? Uh-huh. All right. What's that number again? 777, I believe. 777 looks like he's got it. He's coming on up. He's going to get the checkered flag. He's well out in front, folks. Coming on up here. Oh, no, it's not. It's 200. Number 200. Uh-huh. Well, number 201. And 152, Jeff Gibbs, 13X. I'm not sure who that is. So the winner, do you know who that winner was? 200, oh. um, Bo Coppinger. Where's he from? He is from Chattanooga, and his dad's one of the sponsors of our races. But Bo, this is the first race of ours. He has actually been competing in this year because he has been in Florida in the, in the World Cup Series. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of these people race in the, in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. How, is, it, is it a lot worse? A lot harder? Is it easier? Do you know? Well, they'll tell you different ways. I mean, it feels a little different in the ocean, but the starts are certainly harder due to the surf. Uh -huh. Now, are you familiar with any of these endurance races they have with personal watercraft? We had one. We had, we call, they're called offshore. Generally, they're held in the ocean. We held one from Hailtown to Ross's Landing and back. It was a 70-miler. We did that in April. 
and uh, we had a lot of cold, wet, tired people, but it, it turned out really well. Now that was on the Tennessee River? Yes. Did they go through any locks in the dam? No, they didn't have to go through any locks. Um, they did have to uh, take on barge traffic, which was interesting for several of them, but, uh -huh. but um, we had to just make sure they understood that the barge will not stop for you. <laughs> if, you <laughs> if you get in the way and yeah. see, you have to swim for it. So. Well, that'd it been something to watch. I wish we'd get some video of that. That'd be yeah, real interesting, folks. 70-mile race on the Tennessee River. Not a race, but endurance. That's run. exactly right. Uh -huh. And, uh, uh, of course, we talked to a gentleman who had a 70-mile race down there on, uh, what was it, the Gulf of Mexico, Mobile Bay, and, and, and they had 35 miles in Mobile Bay and 35 miles out in the Gulf. Real, right, real interesting right. race. They do it all the time. They do. Well, maybe we'll get down there this year and uh, uh, take our cameraman, and we'll just take a little company vacation and go down there and bring some of it back to you. We do have some Panama City footage we did last year. We'll try to bring it to you later on, folks. Uh, we appreciate talking with you. We're going to talk to some of your people here that are down. Great, great. All right. Thank you. Just let me know when. Well, okay, folks, we're down here at the uh, Winchester City Park Pier, and this thing was donated by the Doc Doctor. Right there, one of our sponsors of the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. The Doc Doctor installed this thing free of charge to the city of Winchester by the Doc Doctor. So remember, when you want it done right, call the Doc Doctor. They'll fix you right up. And they also do a lot of deck work. If you need a deck on your house, expand your deck, put in a new deck, call the Doc Doctor. Doing decks and docks now. And I uh, just wanted to get you get a good shot of this dock. Great quality workmanship, craftsmanship from the Doc Doctor. Thank you. Down here at the, the, the city park dock, we got a local resident here, Jack Hayes, right? Right, Dave. Jack, of course, lives on the lake out here, but uh, he like he likes to get up here and put his boat in. It's a nice facility. The city's really done a good job here, David. And this, of course, we just told the viewers this dock was donated by the Dock Doctors, one of our sponsors. He does great work on docks, doesn't he? Yeah, he built one for my neighbor. He was very well pleased. It was a uh, difficult terrain. He did a good job. Uh, of course, Jack has been a resident out here on the lake how long now? 13 years. 13 years. Proud resident over here at, uh, that's on the other side of uh, Lee's Ford Estates, isn't it? Or right. near? Right. Uh-huh. And uh, Jack, this weather out here is great today, isn't it? Oh, it's been a beautiful weekend. We, we sort of went from uh, winter to summer, I guess, with no spring, but uh, yeah. we enjoy it. Warms the water up, yeah. brings everybody out. Yeah, we've got that 4th of July and Labor Day temperatures out here, and it's not even June yet. Yeah, already. Already. Now, you're going to do some skiing out here today, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to try to, if we can find some smooth water. Uh -huh. the, the, uh, this is a nice ski nautique, which is probably the best uh, type of boat you can have for skiing. Yes, it's uh, center engine, center pull. It uh, does a good job skiing. All right. Well, tell the cable viewers to come on out. Come on out, folks. Enjoy the water. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jack. Uh-huh. Of course, I've got my Main Street Body Shop cooler. You know, uh, Tommy down there at Main Street Body Shop has got them. Go down there and get your car worked on. If you got a little dent or, or a major wreck, Tommy can fix you right up. And get one of these good coolers down there at Main Street Body Shop in Deckard. You can call him at 962 0002 down there at the Main Street Body Shop, another proud sponsor of the Tennessee Valley Cable Network. Go down there and get your free cooler. And I, I think he's got some keychains and pins too. But these coolers are going fast. I'd be surprised if he's got any left by the time you get down there. But, but get these Main Street Body Shop coolers right there in Deckard. On Main Street, of course, Main Street Body Shop. Call him at 962-0002. All right, folks, we're down here at the Tim's Ford Bass Club. And we're talking to the master chef, cook, what's your name? Ricky Ricketts. Uh, Ricky, where are you from? Winchester. You're from Winchester, of course. Now, y'all will be down here cooking on all these events, right? That's exactly right. We have for the last three or four years, we've had the drag boats. It's the first time we've ever done this right here, so hope it'll happen every year. All right. Now, are you going to be out here cooking for the uh, upcoming events? Yes. Drag no. boats are drag boats running tomorrow, T, uh, TDBA. They'll be down here tomorrow and race all afternoon. Right, and uh, the other upcoming events, of course, the, uh, what is it, the Catch a Fish Rodeo, Jonathan Ackland. Jonathan Ackland Rodeo's coming up uh, in the 1st of June. Y'all be down here cooking? 
Uh, we should be, yeah. We should be set up for that. Uh, we try to try to get a lot of things involved around here if we can. Right. So uh, a lot of the activities that are going to be out here on the uh, lake at the Thames Ford Bass Club City Park area, you can always come down here and get one. Now, now tell the folks what you've got to offer. Uh, we've got hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, barbecue, potato chips, just a little bit of everything. Down home cooking. And it's right here. You help help the Bass Club out, and this is one of the ways you uh, raise money, keep the thing going. Right? right. Well, not as much that. We have some fundraisers during the year to uh, put on things for handicapped children and uh, uh, underprivileged people in the wintertime around Christmas, things like that. We have a lot of charity things go on there, and we take this money and do that with it. All right. A lot of a lot of things down here at the, at the uh, City Park in Winchester. Go on by the Bass Club now. they got all kinds of things to eat, barbecue, hamburgers. Will you get in the hot dog business at all? Mike? I can, yep. We've yeah. got some of them ready to go. Can cook some more if we need to. All right. So if, you, if you're hungry, you need, a, need something to eat, and you got something to drink too, right? That's right. Plenty of Sun Drop and Coca Cola. Plenty of Sun Drop and Coke. Come on down here to the Bass Club. Help them out. Uh, they, they are, they're down here at virtually every event down here at the City Park. Anything else you'd like to add, tell the cable viewers out there. Well, we appreciate everybody coming down. All yeah. right. Thank you. All right, and what's your name, sir? My name is Jim Crow. Uh, Jim, what do you do down here at the Bass Club? I am the Secretary of the Bass Club. Uh, right. We have been in existence for 20 years, and uh, we're very proud of that. <clears throat> we have, with this last uh, Christmas, we had uh, foster children, 28 foster children, and uh, I have no Santa Claus very well. Uh -huh. And we had a lot of fun. Ch children got a lot of toys and stuff, and we plan to donate some of this money out of this uh, event right here to help the, the city park. And we sure like to invite everybody down to be with us this weekend. All right, and then of course the the, the events coming up that you'll be uh, having the, the refreshments available and, and uh, hot dogs or hamburgers, barbecue is the different fishing tournaments right here. We sponsor a Wednesday afternoon tournament every Wednesday afternoon, and we have a big turnout for that. And we uh, we're having a hundred percent payback on our uh, end of the end of the year tournament with our with our tournament on Wednesday afternoons. We'd like to, uh, our new year starts in July, and we'd like to invite any of the local fishermen or anybody that would like to come down and join us. And uh, we're not really expensive and have a real lot of fun. All right, folks, get on down here and join them. A, a, a great bunch of individuals uh, helping the worthy causes all year round. Yes, sir. Thank you very much here. Okay. Yeah, we're down here at uh, the uh, the big uh, first annual personal watercraft races, sponsored by, of course, Tri Lake Marine, Tullahoma, the Superstore out here on Thames Ford Lake at Winchester and in Huntsville, Alabama. Now, what you're looking at right here, folks, is the new Sea-Doo jet boat. And uh, Brian, if you'll get us a, get a good shot of this, front, rear, there's no prop on this boat, folks. This, this boat runs entirely by a uh, high-speed pump that actually pushes the water out the rear at a varied rate of speed. A uh, safe boat. You can go from forward to reverse immediately, not hurt a thing. It's almost like riding a giant uh, sea dew. And uh, of course, it is a sea dew. Sea dew speedster, only available at Tri Lake Marine Superstore. Go out there and try it before you buy it at Tri Lake Marine. Proud sponsor of the first annual personal watercraft races out here at the city park. And what a great looking craft it is. You know, it's just, just looking at it spells summer fun. And uh, you need to get out here and try one of those Sea-Doo jet boats. And uh, this thing is, uh, like I said, it's completely safe. It's great to get out here for the whole family and have fun. A great watercraft available out there at Tri Lake Marine Superstore. Go out there and try it before you buy it. Tri Lake Marines, go out there and see Charlie Bondurant and all the staff out there we're going to be talking to somebody here in a minute uh, that on these other sea dew personal watercrafts but this is my favorite you know if i had my choice this is what i would like to have out on the lake running around because you can get a bunch of people in it and really get out there and have a lot of fun talking to price rogers out here at the lake today price you're out here racing aren't you a little bit yes i am how long uh, you've been racing these personal watercraft three years Three years. Three years. Been on a riding sea day for three years. Uh, started in the 640 Limited, which is a small kind of beginner class, and now I moved up to Premier 785 Superstock. But it's a lot of fun. All right. Now we're looking at the Sea Dew tent down here. Uh, of course, Tri Lake Marine sponsoring the event. 
Can you can you tell us a little bit about these CDs? Of course, you own one yourself. Yes, I do. I own three, matter of fact, different versions. Bought from Trilex. They're a great dealer. You can ride what you buy, and I suggest you do that. It's like I was telling one of the fellas here. Uh, this year's XP was last year's SPX. Um, all these are very, very performance-oriented, fun, well-proven craft. And uh, I have the HX, which is a racing and winning in sport division, brand new boat. Uh -huh. um, this is what I race personally, the XP 1996. This is. Uh, this is pretty much as good as it gets in Sea Day right here off the shore. And this right here is a competitive boat, just buying it and going and racing it. No kidding. 60 mile an hour boat. 60 mile an hour. If you can do it, I tell you, it's for the faint of heart only. <laughs> Makes you pass out. No, it's great. Um, 60 mile an hour a couple years ago was kind of a strange thing, but uh, now the way they've got the holes where you can tune them and keep them handling, you know, 60 is not that big a deal anymore. You know, it's. Uh, coming right along. There's big Dave Haynes. He just bought two new skis. Do you, hey, how you doing? Dave Haynes. How you doing? Where are you from? Trilex Marine, Manchester. All right. <laughs> I live in Manchester. I work at Trilex. Dave right. races at CDs also. You race these CDs? Right, yeah. I just traded for two new GSXs over at Trilex. Uh -huh. I traded in two XPs for them exactly. All right. Now, now, what about the, we were talk, telling the folks about this big Sea Doo jet boat? And that's right. the thing, isn't it? Everybody likes the jet boat because it's got a lot of high performance. It handles well, twin engines, 168 horsepower. It's a blast out in the water. 168 horsepower? You're kidding? No, it's got twin 85 motors in it. Runs real well. It's got reverse, real nice padded upholstery, full instrumentation, digital. I mean, it's got, yeah. it's got dual tachometers, speedometers in it, and if you look in the back where the jet pump nozzles come out, you have two engines in the back. Oh, my goodness. A dual synchronized engine. Right. All right. That's my favorite. I was just telling the yeah. cable viewers. and that. Fact, you... We sold one this morning, and we sold an XP800 this morning also, and a, I believe we sold a GTX this morning while we're out here. Now, what's the price range of this thing? Uh... The Sea Dews run anywhere from $46.99 for a base unit all the way up to $73.99 for the luxury GTX model. Uh huh. And we're going to get a shot of that here in a minute. Okay. But I like that jet boat now. That, that is a. Uh, That's the hot rod of the jet boat. And I'm just telling the cable viewers, and you actually go forward and reverse without any problem. Right, any problem, right. And it runs about a 56 mile an hour, gets on plane in less than a second and a half. All right. That's very quick. And the big, biggest one we're looking at here is the GTX. Right. This is this great big one. Looks like it seats about three or four people. Yeah, we call them the Batmobile down at work because, because of the front hood on it, the digital gauges. It's complete. It's got a cooler in the back under the back tail seat, a glove compartment in the front, and it has 22 gallons of storage right under the handlebars. Okay. Right. Hold it right there, Brian. If you want to call that the hood. And that looks where you put your ice and you... you under here you put life jackets, fire life extinguisher. jackets, fire extinguisher, things like that. Okay. All right. Got plenty of storage facilities on this thing. Goodness gracious. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just all kinds of room in this thing. A big cooler in the back. Put all kinds of good stuff. Keep you cold all day, right? That's it. Well, this is the Harley Davidson of the watercraft, right? Exactly right. This is the big luxury liner, 55 mile an hour boat. This is the uh, high performance cruiser a lot of people bought this year for the, for the lake. Boy, that's great. Now, what what else can you tell me about these other other Sea Doos? Anything at all that you'd like to add? Yeah, the GTI has probably been our best selling model. It's a, a 50, 59.95 over here, Brian. G for the yellow, GTI. green, and red GTI model. Uh, been our best selling model this year. The SPX, the green model over on the far corner, uh, was last year's XP. It's a high performance model. And then we go down to the SP, and as a matter of fact, 93.3 is given, radio stations is given, and Pepsi is given that CD away on a drawing. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can enter to, to win that. That SP. Now, where can the folks go to enter the th enter the thing? Just to whoever the participating sponsors well, I are. I think they're going to take it to the different WalMarts. And I believe you can enter there. All right. Now, uh, now you're going to have you're going to be set up down here tomorrow too, right? Yeah, we'll be set up down here tomorrow all day, and somebody will be out here to man the tent tomorrow. All right, folks. Again, tell them where they can go to see these. Okay. Trilex Marine, the Superstore is where we keep all the Sea Doos. The Huntsville Store, we keep uh, the Sea Doo Jet Boats. And the Telehoma store has a, a small selection of sea dews but a big selection of pontoon boats. Of course, we also sell Mariah, Mercury, Outboards, OMC, Force, 
uh, Johnson outboards, any type of boating needs, pontoon, fish and ski, uh, luxury cruisers like the Mariah boats, we have it all at Tri Lakes Marine. All right, folks, there you have it. Go see them. Summer fun, all of 96 and beyond at Tri Lake Marine. Thank you. Come see us. All right, folks, we're sitting out here talking to the lap counters. That, that's lap, L-A-P, not, not this kind of lap, right? right. Lap, lap counters. And where you, what's your name, where are you from? Lisa Smith, I'm from Harrison. Harrison, which is near Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. uh, is this the, this the first time you've been up here to Tim's Ford? Uh, yes, it is. How long have you been associated with the, this organization? Since it's been in business. I'm actually one of the, uh, the owner's sister. Mm -hmm. now, and, and your job out here is, of course, to count the laps yes. of each boat. Mm -hmm. Wave of, of uh, personal watercraft going around the right. course. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it? Yeah, we just have to make sure they don't miss any buoys. They go around, they do the course, you know, as it's laid out. Um, we actually have to kind of watch the guy at the beginning to make sure it's a good start. Just That's basically it. Uh, what's your name? Renee Gibbs. And where are you from, Renee? Harrison. Harrison, too. Now, you're also one of those good lap counters. I guess so. <laughs> do the best we can. How long have you been associated with this? Uh, for a good many years. My husband's a racer. All right, and you're going to be down at the big Saudi Daisy on Chickamauga? Yes, we are. Are you going to be a lap counter down there, too? I sure will. All right, now how many of you are there? There's usually three counters. Uh, one person calls out, and then we have a head scorer who put, uh, puts in all the scores for us. Okay. Is this, is this thing completed today? No, we'll have a second round. Second round? Yes. Now how many races is that? Uh, another 14 or 15 races. Oh, my goodness. I thought... It wow, was just the first half that we just finished. Oh, really? So everybody's yeah, taking a break. They get a second try. <laughs> they get a second try of getting the big winner. Now, I know she got a lot of trophies over there, Brian. Focus in on those trophies. You got a lot of trophies. Uh, looks like, I can't count them all. Looks like you've got, what, t t 20, 30? I would say about 30. Uh -huh. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Now, now, of course, in addition to the trophies, is there any cash monies awarded to any there of these winners? Cash prizes, yes. What kind of cash? Uh, I don't. You'd have to ask Gina. I don't know the answer to that question. Neither one of us do, actually. It's twenty-five hundred dollars. Cash and prizes. So. Total amount cash prizes. Now, for somebody that say lives around this part of Tennessee, the uh, uh, Coffee County, Franklin County, Bedford County, uh, Middle Tennessee counties, if they wanted to get involved with this, who would they contact? Charlie Hatler. Charlie Hatler, and, and could you give him a phone number? Um. 344-3448. That's area code what? 423. The new area code, 423, and then what? 344-3448. All right, one more time so you can write it down if you're interested in getting involved in racing. That number again? Is area code 423-344-3448. It's Hat Dog Racing. All right, and a uh, lot of lot of prizes. It's, it's, it's worth the while to get into, plus you stand a chance in getting rated nationally, right? That's correct. All right. How many people out here have been rated nationally? I know number 13 was. Uh, there's a 13 and 13X here today. I know there's some other people that are nationally ranked that aren't racing today. Uh, boats are messed up and different things like that. But yeah. we usually have three to four race. Uh -huh. And how do you get rated nationally? Well, what do you do? You have to be win well, so many of them? Yeah, it's a part of IJSBA, which is the national organization. They race and sanction races and, and collect points that way. Okay, folks, getting ready to go to the second round down here at Tim's Ford Light. You got anything you want to add to tell the cable viewers out there? Come on down and watch it. <laughs> We're having a great time. All right, and, and uh, tell them again, come on down there. Well, Saudi Daisy, June 8th, right? Right. What time does that start? Uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Central Time, or Eastern right. Standard Time, excuse me. Out there on Chickamauga Lake at Saudi Daisy. You can come down here and watch it, folks. Thank you. Thank you.